told you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Oh. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. You're not even going to amuse me with that again? <sighs> You're a jerk, Mr. Narrator. Is you're being honest with yourself. Ain't that right, Pierre? Loading. <sighs> Back to the mind control room. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Nope, not this time. We're gonna go this way. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Yes, yes, of course. The I tried to do it real way. Shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. I at tried to point, do it. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I tried to do it your way, but you know, you made me accidentally push the on button. So you know what? Screw you, Mr. Narrator. Oh, this is cool. This is different. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, oh. he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Okay. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. Oh, can I go that so way? He resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Oh. Farewell, Mr. Narrator. Unless you're gonna save me. Farewell, oh. Stanley, cried the narrator. As Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Oh, that's cool. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. It's kind of cool. Yay! And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Exactly my point! Yeah! Now where when are we? every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Exactly! Do you see, Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Cool. Stanley's computer. Nature paintings, oh sweet, you get to see all the paintings. Oh! They have a blueprint of the entire office. Office layout. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. A path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and also throughout the development. The core layout almost everything. Okay, so that's the first thing. Yep, yep, exactly. Yes! Corridor. This play, the place, the pacing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been removed and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Sweet. The two doors. The set of two open doors was the very first concrete piece of Stanley Parables design. Once this room is created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it. Creation of the contradiction this room posed. Sweet. What is this? Where's the sign for this? The office. You get door number one. Leads to nowhere. Door number two and door number three. Button sounds. A selection of sounds used throughout the game were buttons, but each sound is a mix of keyboard stroke and synthesized tone. Oh, I could play with those forever. 
I like this story much better. Filing cabinet, yeah! Office computers. Who's playing solitaire? I can't read that. Employee database. And here are the credits! Yay! Who voiced the narrator? <gasps> and the impeccable Kevin Brightning as the narrator. Yay! Wait, which way do we go now? Let's go this way. Sweet. Boss off. Screens from the development of the boss's office. From there, there. Sweet. Office clock. That actually works. Well, how do I get there? Freedom ending. This is the very first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha. Sweet. Countdown. No. Sweet. Countdown desk. One of the desks from an early version of the countdown ending. Sweet. Freedom ending. This is the freedom ending as it existed in beta. Huh. Monitor room elevator. For a time, the elevator in the monitor room could go up or down with the freedom above and the countdown below. We abandoned this when players found it too difficult to remember what that what was up and what was down and placed the two endings together instead. Huh. I can't there. Countdown room. An early version of the countdown room. That's kind of cool. Sweet, this is awesome! Zending. This screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as Zending, which was eventually cut and merged with another part of the game. Are you sure that's not just portal ending? Zending model. The Zending went through many iterations. This is the fourth version of the ending, and we thought it was 